animation is a, a very ungrateful job. So you're basically like fixing, patching, like putting plasters everywhere. You have worked in extremely successful titles, uh, the Star Wars, Battlefront, and the Battlefield, um, AAA productions. Um, can you tell us a little more about what is particularly challenging about working on such big productions as an animation team and also what makes the animation teams successful while working on such titles? And you can start, I, I know it's like a very loaded question. Uh, we can unpack it as we go. It's, well, it's a good question though. Um, everything, everything is complicated. <laughs> everything, everywhere, all at once. All yes. at once. That's exactly <laughs> how it feels. It does not look good. The hardest thing to actually do an animation is normally going, making people understand the limitations of the animation in games. Because my job as a director, as a lead, is to basically fend my team from doing too much work. Because animation is a, a very ungrateful job where if you do it well, people just look at it and be like, that's how we're supposed to move. It's, that's, that's, that, that, that's exactly how we're supposed to move. There's nothing wrong about it. But if you do it wrong, everybody, including non-animators, can tell you that's not moving correctly. That is not how, it's, how the person moves. And especially when you do a game like Star Wars Battlefront, where you have a Yoda or a Darth Maul or a Vader, people have seen these characters moving films. People have seen these characters in different like places, animations and things. So if they don't move a certain way, 100% everybody is going to tell you, you're doing your job wrong, right? So for us, it's very much like this um, give and take about what can we do technically, what is possible technically, and what is possible artistically, and how much time do we have to make it? And then basically start discarding things as we go along, right? In the best way possible, but still make it look like it's fresh and new and everything is really well executed. And it feels very much like you got to the end of the deadline and it felt very much like you planned it all along. But most of games, at least all the games that I've been in, when you start production, you probably know about 50% of what you need to do. And the other 50%, you go get it as you develop the games. And even three months before you ship the game, some of the stuff is not finished. Some of the stuff is very much like, how are we supposed to do this? This is all broken. We need to find a solution for this. How can we do it? So you're basically like fixing, patching, like putting plasters everywhere in order to make sure that things work. And you were an animation director at Bill Your Rocket Boy, and obviously at your new company, you wear a lot of hats. I'm pretty sure you're directing animation as well. Um, if you were building a, a, you are actually building a new AAA title from scratch, um, how would you set up an animation department? We need to have a balance between mid-level and senior animators, but senior animators need to be the most part of the team in order to, for us to set a standard for the animation. Having an experienced team is number one. Second, hire a producer that knows about animation. This is absolutely essential because producers, at least from my experience, 99% of the producers that I've had, uh, worked with know absolutely nothing or next to nothing about animation which makes their tasks and schedules and all that stuff completely skewed. And it makes you have to like have a lot of tete-a-tete -tete with them to actually try to explain why things take so long or why things don't work or whatever it is. And that is very, um, it creates a lot of friction within the development, which it shouldn't be that way. It should be animation, art. It's all about flow. It's all about creativity. It's all about removing obstacles instead of putting obstacles instead of you in front of you. So definitely hire a producer that knows a lot about animation that has been used to leading animation teams or producing animation teams.